went. When and what are we going to do? We got so little time, we have to do something. <laughs> what are you doing out here alone? Oh, my, to help me. Please help me. What's the matter with you? It's not me. It's... It's Quentin. What about Quentin? It's only 12 days until... Until what? Until what? Speak up. On the 10th day of September, Quentin is going to die. <laughs> How do you know that Quentin will die? How did you find this out? I've seen it in a vision. You're crazy. Oh, if only I was. If only it was me instead of him. Oh, if only I just didn't have this awful power. It's made me so miserable. What power? I have visions all the time. Only I never say good things happen. Only death and destruction. Tell me, what, what else did you see in this, in this vision? Nothing. Only Gwen lying on the floor up in the tower room. All bloody. Oh, it was awful. You can't stay here. I take you back to Cotton with Cotton. <laughs> What's wrong? What happened to her? Nothing, but I got to talk to you right away. Quentin, darling! Charity, please. Charity, you will control yourself. Take your filthy hands off me! Charity! And stop calling me by that stupid name! The next time you go to the sanitarium, take her with you and leave her there. I will be guided by what the Almighty decides. When it is time for her to recover, the demon will leave her and she will be herself again. And what if she kills somebody in the meantime, eh? What are you talking about? She tried it before, didn't she? There is no proof that she poisoned Beth Chavez. Charity is not capable of killing anyone. No. No, Charity ain't. Ah, but this one, this one, she is. She's crazy. Do you know what she told me while we were walking back to the house? What? She told me that Quentin is in love with her. Now, ain't that crazy? No! Quentin does love me. And nobody is going to keep him from me. Not you. Or you. Or that harpy who thinks she's going to marry him. I've lost one love in this house when poor Carl died. I'm not going to lose another one. I'll kill the first person that tries to come between me and Quentin. You just think about that, Governor. You just think about it. I don't know about you, Trask, but I believe her. Yes, I believe her too. What are you going to do about it, eh? I don't know. Perhaps it would be best if I did place her in the sanitarium, temporarily. Oh! And who's gonna take me there? You, maybe? Over my dead body, love! Over my dead body! I only like gypsy music. Well, you got to listen to it whether you like it or not. All right. How much longer is he going to have you keep watch over me? I ain't keeping watch over you. He wants to be sure you don't get excited. I won't do that. As long as nobody interferes with me.
doing here? Why are you playing his music? Miss Trask, you are never to play his music again. I didn't know whose music it was. You never tell the truth. Believe me, love, I got an eye for character and I know you. I know you the first time I ever saw you walk out of this house. I don't know when that was, but you're quite wrong. What are you doing here anyway? I live here, if that's any business of yours. So, you're after him too. Oh, I'm not after any. You were playing his song. I was trying to explain to Who you. Who told you you could live in this house anyway, huh? Who? Oh. Reverend Trask. Oh, he did, did he? Oh, well, I'll just find out about that for myself. Hey, Trask! Trask! If you'll excuse me. You ain't going nowhere. Charity? Why do you call me that stupid name that won't stop me from speaking my piece? Did you ask? Uh, here. Charity, go up to your room. Did you or not? Amanda is here as my guest. Now you're going up to your room. Are you let go of me? Oh. Amanda, will you please wait here? I shall be back shortly. Come along. Quiet, Quentin! Quentin, come here! Help me! Every moment you are like this, you are a disgrace to me. I will not have it. Get that woman out of this house. I will not. Then I will leave. Leave? And where would you go? Wherever the devil leads you? That woman is going to cause great trouble here. She stays here. And there is nothing you can do about it. I am doing my duty. And you, nor anyone else, Terity, can stop me. You'll regret it. If I leave. You walk out of this house and you will soon see how cruel the world is. <laughs> you will come begging me to take you back. Why one hour in the outside world may make you realize who you truly are. I know who I am, all right. I'm Miss Pansy Fire and I don't take no guff from nobody. I'll come back to this house, all right. As Mrs. Quentin Collins. And then I'll kick her out. And you too, you'll see. You'll see. Well, me proud love. You've won the battle, but not the war. Where are you going? Oh, I'll be back. Don't you worry your head about that. I'll be back, and when I am, you'll be sent packing. You're gonna be so unhappy here. You're gonna be so sorry you stayed. <laughs> Only you. I was hoping it was Quentin. Needed this to warm me. On a night like this? Well, when you're bearing the kind of news I got, it puts a chill on your night, let me tell you. Now, I'm sure what you've got to tell Quentin can wait till tomorrow. Oh, no. No, tomorrow will be too late. Well, there's no telling when he'll come home. Where is he? I haven't the faintest idea. I haven't been too successful as my brother's keeper. Well... He's got to come back here sooner or later. But he's been known to stay away from home for more than one night. However, that's his business, not mine. As for my part, I'm going to sleep now. I said I'm going to sleep. Good night, love. What I really mean is I would like you to leave. Go. I got to wait for Quentin. Whatever for? 
You've been waiting for hours. It's past midnight. Oh, no. It's the day. What day? It's the 10th of September. The day Quentin is going to die. Oh. You know that as well as me. It was here when I had my vision. Oh, it was grim, gruesome. And it's going to happen. Unless I get to Quentin to tell him to take care. Is that what you're waiting here to tell him? Of course it is. What did you think it was? Well, frankly, I didn't know. I find your thought patterns a little difficult to follow these days. Well, now you see. And now you know how important it is that I just keep waiting. What you've got to do is get out of here. Now, come on. Get no, out of here. No, I've got to stay in. Get out of Then tell him to come to town. To the Blue Whale. I'm working there now. Tell him I got to talk to him. All right, I'll leave him a note. You will? I said I will. Let's leave it at that. I, uh, you ought to come down to the Blue Wild too sometime, love. Catch my act. Do you some good to get out of the house once in a while. Keep you snappy if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, good night, love. I'm glad you finally got round to listening to me. I love you gotta come in there's somebody in the front door! What's the matter? Who is this? I don't know. I just seen a lion here. Is she... Is she dead? No, she's alive. Why is she dressed like that? I don't know. I never seen nobody dressed that way before. You ain't hardly decent. Miss! Miss! I've got to get her inside. I know who she is. You do? You know who she is? She's the one what's going to kill Quinn. Oh, now look here. She's got doom and disaster written all over her face. Can't you say it? Here now, let me help you. Do you think you're strong enough to stand up? We'd better get you inside. No, no, you can't take her inside. Well, we obviously can't leave her out here. But then you got to call the coppers. Not until I've talked with her first. No, don't let her near Quentin. I'm sure you shouldn't keep your admirers at the Blue Whale waiting any longer. Now, I'm going to look after this lady. Good night. No, no, you can't keep her in here. I didn't make it up. I promise I didn't. I seen it in her face. Love, it's in her face. She's I gonna said do it. good night. Please. You were supposed to come to the Blue Wire tonight to see me, love. I couldn't. Oh, no, because you had big business up here. With this. You treat me rotten, Quentin. I sang all my songs tonight just for you. Open any minute you might come through that door. I'm sorry. I sang and I sang. I've never been better, honest. I'm gonna dance for you, gonna dance your cares away. Oh, why did you come here tonight, boy? To say you. <laughs> well, there's very little to see. <laughs> oh, I didn't agree with you, love. Oh, no, it's a truth, I swear it. There's nothing inside this skin. Not even a heart. So don't look for it. <laughs> I think you're awful to talk to me like that. Here I am trying to be nice and sociable to you. Well, you ain't the gentleman your brother Carl was. <sighs> Lord rest his soul. And where did he get Carl to be a gentleman? In the cold, cold ground. Don't you say that. Don't you even think it. I've been depressed all evening, trying not to remember. Quentin. Hmm? Do you know what happened three months ago tonight? Honey, my memory of the past is as dim as my chances for the future. How could you forget? Carl died. How could you ever forget that? 
I'm unfeeling. Not as unfeeling as I'd like to be, however. My advice is you've had enough. <clears throat> no, never. <laughs> Let's drink to Carl. Oh, no, you won't. You're insulting his memory, baby. Oh, like there's so much evil. He's better off where he is now than he was when he was here. He's thinking like yours, what lets that lamp vampire still be on the loose. <coughs> if people were changed, they're thinking that vampire would have been caught by now like they ought to be. Uh, do you think the vampire should be caught? Are you serious? Hmm? I just can't remember all of the reasons why we should get rid of the vampire. He's a murderer! Oh, yes. He yeah. killed Carl. And, and then there, there was all the other attacks before I come to town. Yes, there were. Oh, oh, you remember now, do you? Oh, I remember. But Charlie, if you had the chance to kill the vampire, would you? You bet I would. And my poor Carl could rest in peace. I suppose you uh, knew where to find him at dark. Suppose you knew where his hiding place was. <laughs> uh, hey. You know where he is. No. No. Then what are you talking like that for? I don't know. I was just thinking. I had too much to drink. You sure sounded like you knew something. Well, I don't if I know. If I did, I'd go to the police, wouldn't I? I don't know what you do. I just know I get these feelings sometimes. And when I do, I'm always right. And you know more than you're telling me now. No, I don't. I think you uh, I think you better go back to town. It's getting late. I couldn't sleep, Quentin. Not tonight. Not thinking about Carl. You did love him. And he loved me. Hmm. I guess nobody ever had before. Soon it will be dawn, Quentin. Hey, I. Quentin, love, what's the matter? No, nothing happened. Hey, you go on home, please. Go oh. home. Oh, you're afraid of the dawn. You're like me. Dawn means a new day starting. Except for people like you and me. We never get new days, Quentin. We just go on. Me living here. Staying up, Quentin. Why? Now you go home, please. Go home.
You faced whatever you had to. And I will too. Morning over Collinwood at the turn of this century. A morning which those who live in the great house will never forget. For unknown to them, a demented girl has done one thing which will change all of their lives. some sleep instead. You can't carry the party on indefinitely, you know. Party? <laughs> it wasn't no party, love, believe me. <laughs> I don't think you'd better have this. I need it. <laughs> Charity? What's the matter with you? Listen. Be sensible. What's the matter with you? Nothing's the matter now. My Carl can rest now. My Carl, I loved myself. Oh, it was terrible. The blood. The blood. What blood? I put the stake over his heart. What? I brought the mallet down. He screamed. Who? Tell me who. The vampire. I've just killed Barnabas Collins. <laughs> I've done it for Carl. For my Carl. How could you have done it? Where did you find Barnabas's coffin? Oh, I found it. How did you find it? The Collinses have been hunting for him? Patuffy? Trask? Are you making all this up? Oh, no. no. I don't guess the Collinses wanted to find him after all. What do you mean? Well, Quentin didn't. I know that. Oh, Quentin, eh? What does he have to do with all this? I followed him there. 
He couldn't do it. I seen the stake and Emma lying on the ground. <laughs> now listen to me. Listen, does anyone else know about this? No, no. Did Quentin see you? No. Ah, good. Edward Collins will be very grateful to you. I don't care. Don't be foolish. You can demand a huge reward for this. Yes, we've, we've got to go to Collinwood and speak to Edward. No, I ain't going there. Oh, yes, you are. Just just decide what you want. You've done that family the biggest favor they've ever had. I don't care! I don't God care! Don't care! Now, listen to me. We won't bother with Quentin. We'll go straight to Edward himself. I just want to forget. That's all. Just forget. You can't forget. <laughs> Not this. And no one else is going to forget it either. You know, it's none of your business, this. You never know when something is becoming my business, do you? All right, you got me up here. But don't you go try none of your fancy tricks on me. Because I don't want nothing from them. Nothing. And there's nothing they can offer me what can change the way I feel about it. You wanted to see me? Indeed we do, Mr. Collins. Well, I'm quite busy. I wish you'd tell me what it's all about. We have news. We have news that will be of great interest to you. I find that difficult to believe. For once, I think, sir, you are wrong. Now, what is it? What is it? Barnabas Collins is dead. So, now you know the old story, and I can go. Now, wait a minute. Miss Trask, if I'm unable to deal with a vampire, why should I believe that you could? I suspect that it's just another one of your lies. Well, don't believe me then, love. It don't matter a whit to me. Mr. Collins. I don't know what your connection is with this, Mr. Shaw, but I suspect you're taking advantage of an unfortunate creature. Unfortunate creature, am I? You're the one what's unfortunate, Gov. You don't know the truth when you hear it. You had best listen to her. I have listened. Charity Trask, I don't know what's going to happen to you, but you've got to stop this scurrilous story. All right, go on and see for yourself then. Go on, Mr. Collins. Or don't you care either? Grand Mr. Collins. Aye. Maybe you've been protecting the vampire too. I was not. I was most anxious to... End this threat to the family, you know that. We can all settle this quite easily, you know, by going to the cave. All right. But you will both remain here. I would prefer to go alone. I'm in on this, Collins. I don't intend to stop now. All right. Hey, why do you want to stay here? We will be back shortly, Miss Trask, and I will have a talk with you when I come back, whatever we find. Always ordering me around, like I was a servant or something. What'll happen when Quentin hears I killed Barnabas? Why did he lie to me and say he didn't know where the vampire was? Oh, I beg your pardon. Who are you? I'm Lady Hampshire. Lily Hampshire. Oh, la -de da I was looking for Edward. Well, he ain't here. Did he say where he was going? <laughs> Did he ever? I don't guess he want you to know, though. You're not a member of the family. I'm a guest here. I was almost to Collins. I'd be mistress of this house now if my car hadn't died. Carl was the nicest one. The only nice one, I guess. I'm Pansy Faye. Well, I'm pleased to meet you, Miss Faye, if you'll excuse me. Oh, no, please, love. Keep me company. I'm all kind of nervous. What with everything happening? What is happening? Oh, never mind, love. They'll let you know if they want to. But listen, if this house ever gets to be too much for you, you get Quentin or somebody to bring you down to the Blue Whale. You can watch my act. I sing. And, and I see things, too, sometimes. I'm a metalist. Well, that's most fascinating. I got powers, I guess. I didn't used to have, but I do now. 
I know things about people. Things what they don't even know about themselves. Well, that's most interesting. I know things about you. What do you know about me? Do you hear that? No, I don't hear anything. Listen. Listen, you will. La 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 You know that tune, don't you? No, I don't know that. And uh Miss Fay, what well you will. You will. I can say it. Where the music's coming from, I can say it. It's a music box. An old music box. Well, I don't have a music box. I never have had, and I probably never will. It's gone now. Mm. You can't even hear the song anymore. Well, in that case, excuse no, me. No, no, don't go. You got to destroy the music box. I told you I don't have a music you box. You will have, and you got to destroy it as soon as you get it. Miss Bay, and if you keep it, it will cause your death. Your death. You remember that. Remember the tune now, love. Remember it. La 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 Miss Fay, I've la, heard quite la, enough. Quite enough indeed. You'll hear it in this house, love. This house sounds dangerous for you. Dangerous what you don't Please, know about Miss Fay. You'll say, love, say, What is love, going on love. here? Well, girl. And what did you find out? You will take her to the drawing room, please. You take her to the drawing room, please. Like it was some bloody pack. No, oh, Kitty. Well, girl, it'll be a long time before you call me a liar again, won't it? I am prepared to admit that I was wrong. I oh, ain't that decent of you. I tell him, ain't a decent of him. I assume you expect a reward for what you've done. It does seem only fair. You just stay out of this. I don't want no thanks or nothing. I would appreciate it if you would answer one or two questions. When of course, girl. These questions may seem strange to you about my brother Quentin. You followed him to the cave. Well, I knew. I knew where the vampire was. I got that that feeling and talking to him here in this room. That's why I followed him. If he knew, then why didn't he come to me? Oh, what's it matter, Gov? We could have kept it in the family. Well, Mr. Collins, you can count on the two of us to keep this all very quiet. Can I, Mr. Shaw? Can I indeed? She'll keep it quiet. I'll see to that. You will, will you? I'm sure of it. And no doubt at a price. What is your price? Sometime I might want, say, a little favor. Well, I'm prepared to do you a favor now by taking Miss Trask off your hands. You may deny being Charity Trask, but I remember the day that you came into this house with your father. Perhaps it's fortunate that he's visiting Judith in the sanitarium. He might not agree to what I'm going to say. Stay here with us. We can get proper treatment for you. Proper treatment? I don't get proper treatment in this house. Well, there are doctors who can... I ain't sick, girl. Do you remember the girl you were when you first came here? I remember coming here with my Carl. 
This house don't hold no happiness in it for nobody. We're going to change all no, that. Oh, no. Nothing can change that. Listen, Garb. I like my life. I love singing at the Blue Whale. I ain't about to start sitting around at my age. If my car was still alive. Miss Trust. Don't please. call me that! You call a lady what she chooses, and this lady chooses to be called Pansy Fire. You got that, Gov? Come on, Tim, let's get back where we belong. She'll be all right. Well, Tim. Drop in and see us at the Blue Whale sometime. I doubt if I'll find the time. But I'm quite sure that you'll find an opportunity to drop in and see me when you want something.